What did you see specifically with his playmaking that led to the eight assists? With Kevin? Yeah. Nothing new. You know, he's uh, he's such a great playmaker. He's such a great athlete. He's so tall. He can see right over the top of the defense. And uh, once he once he got going, it was a slow start for him. But once he got going, and uh, we we. Um, we're able to uh, spread the floor a little bit better uh, after that first quarter, and he started attacking and finding guys. Um, Nick got some of the uh, most of the back uh, the backup shooting guard minutes, and it's been like that um, last over the last couple of games. What has gone into your decision to give him more minutes over McCaw? Uh, well, he's played he's played well the last few games, and uh, both guys have played well for this for us this year. I think Nick is is picking up on how we play. He's been better defensively than he was early in the year. So he's earned some minutes and uh, you know, it's hard to play everybody. I, pr I do actually. Um, it's, uh, I don't know how we, we get everybody out there. I guess it's, uh, you know, we've got a lot of um, luxury with the stars that we have that we can throw a lot of combinations out there and mix and match and try different things. Um, but it's hard to play. Um, you know, both both Patrick and Nick, big minutes each game. So it's just going to be a feel thing, and they're both going to help us. Is that what you kind of want to see from Nick when he's playing his play? Yeah, yeah. Good defense, you know, knock down a shot, um, you know, just be solid. And uh, I think the biggest difference now um, from early in the season is, is his defensive um, awareness and intensity. The second unit did a lot of damage tonight on cuts. Is that something with the group that you're putting out there now that you need to have as a, a constant with them? That's always a constant for uh, all of us. Um, you know, they, we want everybody moving and cutting, and we have so many good passers um, that uh, you just can't stand. But particularly with the second group, you know, you get David out there, you get him the ball, and you move, he's going to find you. He had a lot of assists tonight, um, five of them, I guess. Yep. And um, always a, he's always a great passer from the elbows. So we want our, our whole team moving and cutting, but especially that second unit. See if you guys found that third quarter magic again, uh, even without Steph, who usually is a big part of that. Um, because it's become a habit, are you able to isolate exactly what it is in that third quarter that happens so frequently? No. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I don't. I don't. I mean, the, the only thing that, that, that I see is we start taking care of the ball. You know, we, we just seem to be more uh, careful with the ball. And, and uh, I'd be interested, it might be interesting to look at the turnover numbers during this streak, during the third quarter compared to the other ones. Raymond's on it right now. That's why he's the best. <laughs> well, that too. You, know, that too. you guys have. Won seven straight by double digits. I think the first six by 17 or more, which is, you know, longer streak of that kind of domination than you've ever had. Uh, does it feel like you guys are even at your top level though right now? No, we're not at our top level, but we're we're playing uh, at a good, really good level. Um, we can get better. We know that. Um, but uh, I like the better um, attention to detail. Um, it just seems like we're more focused and more poised, um, even with the turnovers. It seems over the course of, of these games, over the last seven that we've won, we've found pockets where we've really put together you know, good two-way stretches, um, defense leading to offense, and getting some of those really uh, punishing uh, runs that we can, that we can uh, get to create some separation. Steve, you're, you, I know you've talked about this, but you were saying you try to play everybody. It's hard. Is that because of your background in, in not playing and, and then getting a chance? Do you know, in other words, you, you sort of a feeling for the people who are out on the bench? I think, um, I think playing everybody um, is uh, – there's probably two reasons. Um, number one is we have great – talent and we're able to play a lot of people because we um, we're comfortable um, treading water at times during the game or we, we know that we can make a push um, we can throw a lot of combinations out there because um, and when you have guys like KD and Draymond and Steph and Clay I mean the, you can you can try different things and and it'll still look pretty good you know um, but the other thing is is my um, my own background as a bench player um, you know, I was on some teams where I didn't play for like three weeks, and I didn't even feel like I was part of the team. You know, and and uh, I, I learned uh, 
learn a lot from Phil Jackson um, in that regard. Um, Phil rarely let a guy sit for for longer than a week or so, and you know you might go a few games without playing, but next thing you know, you're out in the second quarter of a game um, when you're not really a part of the regular rotation. And Phil was a genius with that in terms of keeping guys engaged and motivated. And and there's a there's a real power, I think, in in playing a lot of people because everybody just feels more more part of it and more engaged. Steve, do you wonder if the NBA, the rest of the league, looked at this game and saw what the Warriors can do without Steph Curry? Do you hope that they were looking to see what you can do? And are the Warriors establishing yet again you guys are the team to beat? Uh, I, you know, I, I, I don't think of that stuff. I just uh, I, all I know is that we're really, really lucky to have the talent that we do. I mean, we can we can win games without. Um, Steph or KD um, or Draymond or Clay because uh, we got we got a lot of guys and a lot of guys who can really play and uh, it's an incredible roster and uh, we should be able to win games when when some of our stars are down so um, that's um, that's the way I look at it. Great, thank you. Thanks. Thanks.